Hello, I'm Penny and welcome to Pen B Photography. Today um, I'm just going to do one picture. Last night it was very very windy so um, the autumn leaves are still on but uh, I think uh, the weather is changing in a way that we are coming towards the end uh, of having the leaves on the trees. Saying that it's not too bad now but yeah we're on our last few days <laughs> or weeks I should say um, so the plan is today I'm going to do one picture and it's all about light so at the moment I haven't got the light I want so um, let's hope it happens but yes I will talk you through this picture and let's see if it yeah we have to get it Excuse me, I'm a bit in darks there, but the light is happening. Uh, so what's happening is the clouds behind me on the sun uh, are coming, blocking the sun in and out, and then um, changing the light on my scene. Um, if I turn this to video, I might we might capture a little bit of what's actually going on. Um, and hopefully uh, I'll either show you a bit of video or some stills that will be the exactly same shot together to show you how much depth this that light can give you and just a little bit of shade from clouds so I mean the sky part pointing this way is not particularly interesting uh, but it's cloudy behind me so it's the sun's coming in and out uh, which is it makes such a huge difference um, the other thing I've got here is I've got power cables going straight across my sky, which I don't want. The sky's boring anyway, so I intend to do sort of... I'm not doing a panoramic as in I'm moving my camera around, but i probably crop it, what, 16 by 9, something like that, to, um, to cut out as much of sky as possible. Quite often in editing, though, things um, change. Um, so see now that the light is changing quite dramatically in my scene and I'm gonna to have to take it off video on the camera because I want to take a photo of that um, I've got my ISO on automatic and um, I've got a shutter speed of 100 and f13 um, it's not a huge amount of depth of field in this picture because I've got uh, my foreground starts quite a long way away and then it just goes on all oh, that. It's good. Um, the reason I've got it on ISO, the light is so changeable, and I am really just—I've uh, got it on automatic ISO. Sorry, uh, that the light is so changeable that I just really want to concentrate on capturing the light that I want. Um, moving down the valley, uh, so yeah. I'm just concentrating on the light. I'm so sorry. I just realised what a wreck I look as well. So how? Yeah, that's made a huge difference. <laughs> but, so yes, I hope this picture's half decent. But um, even not, I've definitely caught how light makes a difference. So um, and how you can work a scene. This is an unusual way for me to do photography. I, I'm really more of a walk in the forest and, oh, I like that, and take the photo then and there. Um, but watching lots of other YouTubers uh, a lot better than me, I, I've seen the benefits of coming and slowing down a little bit and, and just, you know, choosing one scene instead of running around um, trying to capture something a, half decent of every, you know everything around here there's loads of different nicer pictures that i could take um 
but I'm in the new forest. We're just about to go into lockdown. Uh, this is all very local to me, so I'm very fortunate and would be able to walk here if I if I had to. Um, so I will get an opportunity to come back here again and not be distracted by other locations, maybe. So yeah, um, I definitely will be back and definitely practicing this style, but I do think that maybe there's a benefit in, you know, walking and just taking a photo as you see it. Also this style, I just, I really think there's a benefit in all different sorts of style. Oh, that's just lovely. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. What a lovely morning I'm having. And I suppose really, especially in these times, this is what it's all about, isn't it? I mean, just, does it matter if the photo's any good? What will I do? I'll probably I'll put it on Instagram. I am considering selling prints. I have done in the past, but uh, don't really at the moment, but hopefully in the future. But yes, lovely. So um, I hope you find somewhere local around you that you can get out and just, I've got my flask. Bring your flask of whatever you like and then, you know, chill out in a spot and just really take in how things change in, in our natural world. It's just so beautiful. Um, and it's really cheered me up this morning. Just having a lovely time. And I'm going to really enjoy, even if it's uh, looking back on the photos, even though they're going to be all exactly the same picture. But yes, dramatically different. So anyway, I'm definitely going on. And I don't intend from moving from this spot. I'm going to stick around here for a few minutes longer until I have to go. Um, so I think I'm going to say uh, say goodbye. And what I will do is I'll definitely show a few of the same photo in my video. I never really know exactly how a video is going to turn out until I do it. So uh, yes, you'll definitely see some of the photos and um, hopefully you'll enjoy them. Please leave a comment. Uh, tell me if you don't disagree with anything I say. It's all you know, just out of my own head, all my own opinion. So um, if you disagree, it'd be great to start a bit of a conversation. If you agree, that's fantastic as well. I do really enjoy the nice comments, of course. Um, if you like this video, please like, and also it really helps if you share as well. So lovely to speak to you again, and I will see you again soon. And uh, yeah, excellent. Get out there and do some photos. Take care, bye-bye.